some questions for the comrades? Sure. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. Is your glass half empty or half full? It is half full. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. We hear you have a really good Russian accent. Give us a sample. <sighs> Russian? What exactly are you trying to accuse me of? Because I am 150% American mother, USA. Please, the next question, please. What is your favorite song to sing at karaoke? <laughs> um, I have three. I like Mo Money Mo Problems, uh, Officially Missing You by Tamiya, and Lose Yourself by Eminem. Do you like surprises? I do. Surprise! We're going to challenge you right out of the gate. Sing your favorite karaoke song in a Ru <laughs> Russian accent. Ready? Go! Um, oh, look. If you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? Yo, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy, vomit on sweater already, mother's borscht. What never fails to get a laugh out of you? <laughs> um, there's this joke that I heard. It's what's black, white, and green. It's a zebra with a, <laughs> with a pickle. What is something you like to do in your spare time? Uh, I like to cook. What do you <clears throat> do for a living? I am a respiratory therapist. Is respiratory therapy something that you always felt like you wanted to do? No. What is the most challenging part of your job? Um, dealing with non-compliant patients. What is the most rewarding part of your job? Getting through to those non-compliant patients. If you could go back in time and redo everything, would you still pick the same career path? Yeah. What was your favorite subject in school? Math. Do you have something you are very, really compulsive about? Um, whenever I see weird food, I automatically pull out my wallet and buy it. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, we went to 626 Night Market last year, and one of the booths had rooster testicles as one of their items, and it was just like, Shoo, give me testicles. It's what, my money. What is home to you? Um, anywhere where my wife, my future child, and my dogs are. How do you define love? Love is a relationship that can never be broken, ever. You just so celebrated your first anniversary with your wife, NJ. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell us about how you two met? Um, we met in college and she was actually dating one of my acquaintances from high school, and then I swooped. What was your first date like? Um, it was fun. Uh, we went like shoe shopping and stuff, but I didn't know it was like, a date until like a few weeks later. And I was like, bro, that was a date. Oh my god. How Weird. long have the, have the two of you been together? Um, this year marks our 11th year together. What is the weirdest part about being married? Um, oh. I have a tan line on my ring finger now. What is the best part about being married? Uh, that I know for the rest of my life I will never be alone. And taxes are going to be so easy. Tell us, what was the theme of your wedding? How I Met Your Mother. What is your favorite thing about NJ? Um, she loves me for me, and I am a big jerk. What is your favorite thing to do together? Uh, we like to play with our dogs, and we like to read bedtime stories to her pregnant belly. If you could go back in time and change anything, what would you do? Um, I would listen to my dad when he told me I was starting to get fat. What is one thing you could not go a day without? Hmm. Hmm. My, my Burt's Bees. What is one thing you would get rid of forever? I would get rid of war and poverty because world peace. What is your favorite zoo animal? A giraffe. What is a movie you could rewatch a million times and not get bored of? Avatar. What three things would you take with you to a deserted island? A uh, deserted island, I would take a bowl, a pair of chopsticks, and a fully stocked refrigerator. How do you feel about roller coasters? I love them. If you could join any past or current boy band, which would you join? Um, if it was a band band, excluding boy bands, it would be Linkin Park. Speaking sure. of boy bands, you choreographed an awesome piece of dirty pop by <laughs> NSYNC. Do you remember any of it? Oh, I know where this is going, I do. 
All right, challenge time. Perform what you remember of the choreo. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. It goes. Doom, doom, ta, 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 doom, ta, boom, ka, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, do, ta, 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 dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh, that was incredible. Get it? No. Speaking of dad jokes, do you have any good ones? I have a lot. Tell us your go-to joke. My go-to one? Oh, I used to work at the bank, but then I got fired because a girl said, uh, can you check my balance? So I pushed her. <laughs> Ready to play this or that? Yeah, sure. Early bird or night owl? Um, night owl. Robots or aliens? Aliens. Smile or smize? Money or free time? Money. Big party or small gathering? Big party. Boomerang or space sword? Space sword. Sokka or Luffy? Sokka. Cosplay or bounding? What's, what's bounding? Work hard or play hard? Oh, uh, play hard. Couch or recliner? Couch. Sweater or hoodie? Hoodie. Winter or summer? Winter. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Sweet or sour? Sweet and sour. Mild or spicy? Mild. Medium rare or medium well? Black and blue Pittsburgh style. Toilet paper over or under? Over. Netflix or Hulu? Hulu. Multiplayer or singer, Multi single player? Multiplayer for sure. Okay, back to some regular questions. What is something that not many people know about you? Um, I used to be a professional ballroom dancer before I joined Core. What is usually <clears throat> someone's first impression of you? Oh, this guy is tall and funny, but he's also like a jerk. What trait do you like the most about yourself? I think my tall, funny jerkiness can break tension in like serious situations. What was the worst food you ever ate? Fresh durian. We hear from Sonali that you make the best bacon wrapped hot dogs in the world. Do you have any trade secrets? A true magician never reveals his secrets. Do you have any weird food combinations that you really enjoy? Um, I like A1 steak sauce on absolutely anything. What do you dislike but have no good reason for disliking? Chocolate. Chocolate. Are you superstitious? Uh, like 80%. Do you avoid cracks in the pavement to save your mother's back? Uh, not necessarily. But when I walk the dogs, I play this game where I like try to walk normally without stepping on the cracks. So I don't know if that counts. Would you say you're always ready for action? No. Action, it's time for the dreaded four eight count challenge. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Two and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Three and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Four and two and three and four and five and six and strike a pose. What is the best practical, practical joke you have ever pulled? Um, I do a lot, but the saran wrap, plastic wrap on the toilet is like a classic. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Uh, literally like over a hundred pair. Do you wear your heart on your sleeve? I wear a tattoo on my sleeve. What is your fondest memory growing up? Uh, my cousins and I used to make a lot of like movies in our backyard. What is the earliest memory that you can recall? <clears throat> um, earliest memory is, um, I remember being in my playpen in the living room in our house in the Philippines. And I remember looking up and my grandma looking down at me. Who was your favorite cartoon character as a child? Uh, it's not a cartoon character, but Tommy the Green Ranger from Power Rangers. What words of wisdom would you pass on to your childhood self? Um, never stop trying to make people happy. What is your favorite holiday to celebrate? Flag Day. Do you think you would survive the zombie apocalypse? Totes. How would you do it? You just do it. Who is part of your six-man zombie attack response team? Uh, all the men on core. What is your weapon of choice? Space sword. What is something that you've always wanted to do but never got a chance to do it? Make a space sword. Do you think you'll ever get around to it? When's the next meteor shower? <laughs> where is your happy place? Uh, anywhere where my dogs and my wife and my future child are at. If you could cast any <clears throat> celebrity to narrate your entire life, who would it be? Uh, it would be the Latino guy from Ant-Man. If you could spend a day in someone else's shoes, whose would they be? Uh, it would be Michael Jordan for his shoes and Justin Timberlake for his life. What is your favorite newfangled dance move? The Dougie? T 
teach us how to do it. Uh, put your hands out front, lean them side to side. Then he says some bad words, but you do it like this. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What is something that Cora has taught you? Um, that you always you will always lose a dance battle to Kayla and or Sano. What is something the comrades have taught you? Um, that being a nerd is kind of cool. You've been with Cora since the beginning. What has it been like to experience so much growth and change over the last six years? <clears throat> oh, it's been crazy and fun. Great and fun. Do you ever think Cora would be what it is today? Um, I had my doubts at the beginning because... I don't know just cuz but then I saw like how much we grew in like a matter of like months and I was like bro we can totally do this and look at where we're at now and we're gonna fly high super high sky high tell us something about core that not many people know uh, well if I told them then it wouldn't be a secret anymore what is one word you would use to describe the company I said weird 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 and great greared what is one word you would use to describe yourself as a member of this company? <sighs> Hashtag partial nerd. What keeps you motivated when rehearsals get long and your body gets tired? Oh, um, I think it's when everyone else on the team is like in the same feeling, like both tired and whatever, but they're still like pushing it and giving it their all. What inspires you to dance? Um, well, I've always had a passion for dancing, but uh, I get inspired by the people that we inspire. What impresses you the most when watching <clears throat> other people dance? Um, it's cool to see. I love watching people doing the same choreo, but all of them having their own different unique style. That's well, always dope. What is something that you would tell someone just starting out with dance? Um, don't be afraid to be yourself. What do you enjoy most about being on core? Um, dancing with all my friends. What was your favorite set to be part of? Uh, Return to the Unknown. Do you have any pre-performance rituals? Uh, I try to hug everyone on the team, but if I can't, I make sure I kiss my wife and tell her I love her, and I cough until I gag, and I check that I have my puppy bandana on me. What was your favorite core cosplay? Uh, Sokka, for sure. What was <clears> the <throat> funniest thing to happen to you while performing on stage? Um, during Anime LA, I think, I forgot to replace the pineapple for Ryuk, and I forgot to tell everyone that the pineapple was rotten. So, if you watch it, you'll just see everyone looking at the pineapple like, oh, it's a pineapple, oh, it's a pineapple. What has it been like preparing for this summer's productions? Uh, it's been stressful, but it's been a lot of fun, and I'm super excited. Without giving too much away, what can we expect to see from CORE? Without giving too much away? We dance. Is there anything you would like to say to the comrades watching? Uh, nope. See ya. All right, well, Just thank you. kidding. <laughs> Um, no, to the comrades, thank you guys so much for your love and support. We haven't gotten this far without you. And for the love of the art and the nerd in our heart, so do Mato. Cool, thank you, Eddie. No problem, Bob. <laughs>